Good. 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 Morning. What's going on? What's going on? Fellas, here in Dallas, Texas. Morning. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> Let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, guys. Here in the beautiful city, Dallas, Texas. Texas. Back in the truck, fellas. It is pouring. Just in time. Just in time. Uh, yeah. Before we got this rain, rain. rain. All right, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Check, 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 check. check. Mike, check. Even a butthead or something, you know, man. Lip, 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 slog here. All right, we're about to get this day started. Started right. Make sure you want to be smoking on that. Buddy. So. Yeah, buddy. So we're just gonna do commercial properties today. We got two apartments. Then we're gonna go do uh, the clinic over in Rockwall. Mark and Mark's over here putting some gas. Wanted to talk to you guys about how to deal with people that are pedestrians that are around you that may come at you sideways, how to deal with them. Should you just get mad? Should you punch them in the face? Ignore them, walk away? Let's talk about it. Yeah, buddy. Well, we had a couple of uh, incidents that uh, over at this property, actually the property where the guys are at over there. And as you can see, uh, we have tons of pedestrians walking their dogs. I was gonna explain to y'all that you're gonna get into some, maybe some altercations, interactions with some of these pedestrians, customers, residents, tenants. We have to be very careful how we speak. I'm gonna go ahead and get in here because they're they're blowing the property over here and it's, I don't know if y'all guys can hear me or not, but we had an incident where one of the uh, AT&T guys was servicing one of their, their boxes over here in the corner. And I always tell my guys, if there is a pastor buyer, sometimes we'll get painters out here, we get electricians, mail carriers. If y'all guys see them, don't approach them with the weed eater, don't go over with the, the mower. Just wait, let them do what they gotta do. Mow or weed eat another area. When they get done, come back. And I noticed Baby was uh, speaking to one of the uh, AT&T guys and it looked like they were arguing. I kind of had an idea why. He was trying to weed eat while the AT&T guy was trying to service his, his box. And that's a big no-no. So of course I'm gonna have a word with, with them here in a little bit and, and reminding them that if there's a pedestrian, there's somebody do not weed eat because what happens if they do fling a rock, fling something at them, hurts them, kills them, whatever, it's on me. It's my responsibility. I got to pay for that. I guess they were arguing and there were just a kind of F bombing back and forth. But I guess what I want to say about this first part of the video is if you got pedestrians, you got people around, stop what you're doing, let them pass by. I'm paying you by the hour. So, I mean, shoot. Just let them pass by, let them finish what they got to do. If you need to go to another area, come back later. It's okay. I'm not going to get on to you. Just wait. Be patient. There's your mask. You need to be wearing a mask. <laughs> Had to get me something to eat real quick. Got me a BLT sandwich. We got baby here. Then we got Mark on baby cakes. I want to get baby's his side of the story on what happened today with a uh, confrontation with the uh, AT&T guy. I was waiting in the grass right and the AT&T guy was there working. I didn't even know he was there until he, he said something in there. He came off real disrespectful. So I was like, all right. I stopped what I was doing, had a conversation with him. And then yeah, all he was saying was he was trying to get to his truck and I was like go get to your truck and then he was just I don't know we were stuck up dude being disrespectful it was what it was but it is what it is nothing happened we are still good and I'm about to go work he didn't want to tell the whole story but they were about to get into it baby kind of bowed up to him like I told my guys if anybody ever comes at you sideways while your guys are working with me all you have to do is tell them go talk to the boss whether if it's a customer or it's a, uh, just anybody, anybody. And you know, a lot of my guys, yeah, they could get hot headed too. And they, they're gonna wanna fight. They're gonna bow up. They're gonna mad dog. They're gonna wanna punch. They're gonna wanna kick. They're gonna wanna somersault. They're gonna wanna drop kick your butt. You know, all, all this stuff, right? But of course I did get the uh, side of the AT&T guy's story, apologized to him. And he was, he was cool about it. He, he said he was this close. I guess he had flung debris or rock, I don't know, to him. And I guess it, 
fist him right beside his head and that's I can't have that because if it would have hit him that's on me I don't want that so I already talked to baby he's good this shouldn't happen again <laughs> y'all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get on uh, the weed eater and start edging and trimming this property I might share with you another story that happened to the same property with another uh, elderly man who also came at me sideways and also came at Mark sideways all right we're over at uh, our HOA properties we just do all the backyards I know it's kind of blown out the background but sorry for that there it goes it's coming into focus all right, let's go check out these uh, ombres. Knock out this backyard. Very simple, very quick. Let's go. Oh, man. Got a little kickback from that weed eater. Oh, man. I don't know what it was, but it got me good in my neck. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside the truck where it's safe. What can I say, y'all? What can I say? Mm, mm, mm. Here's one of the stories, guys, that I wanted to share with you guys about uh, what happened. Another uh, incident where a, not a customer, but one of the tenants that we're working at the apartment came at me sideways. We're not so much sideways, but kind of rudely. What happened was I was waiting outside for the property manager at the apartment so I could go and fill out my invoice. He left a note, said I'll be back in five minutes. He was gonna go do a walk around, whatnot. I was sitting down at one of the little chairs that they had right outside the office, and this old man came up. He was wheeling like a, looked like a suitcase. He had his mask on. Of course, mind you, I wasn't wearing my mask, but that's a whole nother story, a whole nother level. I don't wanna get into that because then I'm gonna rant, rant, rant. And that's not what this channel is about, fellas. But I don't got a mask unless I'm uh, weedy or unless I'm blowing, so I won't get all that crap. But <laughs> don't get me started, fellas, with the mask stuff. I was sitting down, and this old man, he was, he came looking at me, he was like, and he stopped, right? And he goes, did that, right? But that, and I could see his eyes. His eyes were all, all angry. And uh, of course I knew what he was talking, I know what he was doing. I was like, hey, if you're looking for Alex, he'll be back in five minutes. He didn't say anything, right? There was a couple, there was a chair right beside me, or there was the table, little picnic table, and then there's two chairs. I was still sitting on my chair, and he goes over to the other chair. He grabs it, mad dogs me, he's mad dogging me. And he's, Bruh! he slings it like, like I, like I was gonna give him the Rona or something, right? But he like, I mean, he made it known that he was pissed off and he slung that chair way over here and sat down, boom, pissed off, bitter, bitter old geezer. I was like, hold on, this, I think this is the guy that came at Mark sideways the week before. See, I could have been mad. I could have been be like, what's your problem? You got it, but bro, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing, what you got to remember. Listen to me closely. You're going to have people coming at you sideways. People that disagree with your views, with your uh, work ethics. They're going to disagree with your belief system. But here's the thing, guys. You have to, especially, especially us that are business owners, we have to ignore it. If you can ignore it, ignore it. Don't get yourself in trouble because, see, Eclipse Lawn Care. If I was to do something stupid to somebody, snap off at, at a customer, snap off at somebody while I'm uh, towing my brand around, then it's going to uh, definitely not look good on your business, not look good on your name. It could easily go to Google and uh, make a bad review. Now, if you got to defend yourself, if somebody is trying to hit you and jump, that's a different story. But somebody just calling you names or whatever, you know, being a butthole, doesn't mean you got to be a butthole back. But anyways, I'm going to let Mark kind of talk about what happened with the same guy, a different day, same location. Let's go talk to him. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. 
What to do? What you working with? Man, let me say. Echo. <laughs> That's all I know. Except for Toro, they knocked off Echo. Toro! So make it Toro. sound like Echo is a Toro. How do you say Toro in English? Toro in English? What's a Toro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> toro, Toro. <laughs> I don't know what no Toro is. Story time with Smokey Mark. Story time. What we got for story time today? I see how it is. Smoke break with Mark. You know, whenever you stopped and asked me about what does Toro mean in English? You know what you should do? What? You should put in the video where when you ask me that and I can't figure out what it is, put crickets chirping in the background like, hmm. Man, we're doing a commercial property and this guy comes out, didn't pay him no mind, spraying the property. Nothing, thinking nothing about it. Done mowed everything, blowed everything, trying to spray for weeds and some guy comes out in a mask and he starts hooting and hollering about, what are you spraying in that sprayer? What kind of chemical you got in that sprayer? Where's your boss? And, and you get back from me. You get back, step back. What do you got in that spray? He just kept going on and on. And I just told him, man, I, I, I really, I, you gotta go talk to my boss cause this ain't going good. I knew I was gonna say something <laughs> that I shouldn't <laughs> say. So I just, I said, hey man, you see that guy over there, go talk to him. He was acting like I was like spreading coronavirus or something around. He thought I was trying, I was out to kill everybody or something. And he just came out all sideways like, what do you got in that sprayer? What do you got in that thing? What are you spraying? What kind of chemical is that? And I was like, well, first of all, I don't have a college degree in weed poison. And for two, I don't know, cause my boss buys it, go talk to him. Guy says, hmm, and just walks off. <laughs> Goes out to the oh. sidewalk and just sitting there on his phone, I guess trying to find out who we are and where we're from and stuff. And he's just on his phone looking back at me, wondering what I'm doing. And he was probably subscribing to us. Probably. He needs to. That way he knows what we're spraying next time. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to handle it, though, man. Yes, you sir. tell him to come and talk to the boss. That's it. I know Baby today, he was uh, trying, to, trying to jack the dude up. AT&T, man, stay out of baby cakes as well, or baby tacos <laughs> way, man. But already, yeah, you do it the way Mark did it. Tell him to, hand, you know, go see the boss. Don't handle it like baby cakes did it and was trying to fight karate, karate that guy up. <laughs> to go down. Where is baby? He's in the truck. Oh, he's already, he's ready to go, I man. had to stop the mower and everything, man. Take my earphones out so I, I can hear you. what was going on. I saw you. <laughs> Oh, there he is. There's baby. There's baby. Oh, what'd you get? Some cold water. Cold water. Some water. Sir. All right, man. QT, QT. Yeah, he said on camera how our boss makes us go thirsty and you have to go get faucet water from the customer's backyard. And that's what I sent over. Fake news, fam. That's fake news, man. I don't, I don't be rolling like that. I don't be rolling like that. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Later. Peace. I'm going to go get these guys some real water. No, you lying, bro. How you gonna get Powerade in there, bro, from the from the faucet? Fake news, bro. Bro, what you talking about? Oh, oh, faucet water with a packet in it. Yeah, you see how ghetto we are. All right, guys, we're gonna have to end this this video now. <laughs> Peace out, later. <laughs>